right. I know I said uh, 6.30 was the time in the, in the little thing. But guys, the, I just found out The Last of Us Remastered is $20. That's actually not that bad. I know I was gonna. I know I said I was gonna play Horizon Zero Dawn, but I want to play this game for a minute. So like, I don't know. Right now, that's kind of what I've been doing this whole time. I've been. I, the stream has been set up for like twenty minutes, maybe. Hold on. Oh god. Yeah, the stream has been set up for like twenty minutes. I've just been going through deals and seeing what else is on here. I still need to play Uncharted, Jesus Christ. Yo, what's good, Malaysia? How's it going? I'm just like kind of... <laughs> I'm just kind of going through things. I'm going through, uh, what's it called? Deals right now. Because I have, I have this thing called bills and I can't spend 60 bucks on a game anymore. Or I can. I would just rather not, you know? There is one game, though, that like... I've been... And I, we'll, we'll get started on Horizon Zero Dawn soon, I promise. But man, <laughs> I like, I kind of got sucked into this and now I'm just kind of looking at deals. I don't, there's one game though that I'm looking at. Waiting 15 minutes to remind to go and say, so, yeah, <laughs> I'll be honest. You might need to wait another 50 billion more. I don't think reminds going on sale for anything. I'm going to be honest with you. Or at least in, not for like a couple of years. When Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out, I think that might be when it goes on sale. Also, but I don't know, man. I've been waiting for uh, Kenna Bridge of Spirits. I really want to get that game. But also, like, I don't want to spend 40 bucks on something that I may or may not enjoy. I don't know, man. But anyway, <laughs> we'll get started soon. <laughs> I promise. I just, I want to look at sales real quick. Cause there's always something, there's always something like here. There's always something here for somebody, you know? Like I've got one of my favorite games, uh, Indivisible. Literally just because it was on sale. Be on sale for your birthday? Yes, sir. Manifesting it right now. Ken and the Bridge of Spirits is not on sale, unfortunately. That makes, that actually makes me sad. Yo, if anybody, if anybody got the Square Enix hookup, look, I know I haven't been posting in a minute. All right, I know I haven't been posting in a minute, but Square, I promise I'm on your side. Wait, that's not even Square. I'm stupid. Uh, how's it going, guys? Welcome. We're going to be playing Horizon Zero Dawn. We're just going to be chilling today. To playing Pokemon Black. Pokemon Black is goaded. Pokemon Gen 5, man. Because here's the thing. Legends Arceus got... Um, or it's Arceus. They try to... They try to... Uh, pull that it's art it's always been arceus it's always been no it's arceus you guys just didn't want to call it the arse phone be honest but i hope that like gen 5 gets some love pretty soon you know i'm do how am i doing i'm doing all right i can't really complain you know i had a good day at work today i was really considering um, getting into it with this old man, but you know what? I t I was the better person, and I decided against it. Yo, Megan, what's good? Welcome back. Also, I turned the music off a while ago when I last time I was playing this, just because um, what's it called? I was listening to something, but I'll turn it back on. I'm not too far into this, so don't worry. But I'm like maybe twenty. Gen 4, okay. I was about to say, I saw Gen 4 worst one, and I was like, man, I don't know. But then, I guess he, I guess you're going by, like, the, what's it called? I guess you're going by, like, by like the style. Hard Gold, Soul Silver, yeah. Voltorb Switch kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. If you're, like, a fan of that kind of game, if you're a fan of Minesweeper, that's fine. But, man, Voltorb Flip kind of sucks. Give me, give me back the RNG gambling, you know? Take me back. I was really pissed in <laughs> Diamond and Pearl that they got rid of the uh, the casino in Veilstone. Which, you know, I get it. You know, you don't want Pokemon to be a gateway to gambling addiction. But also, also, I miss my gambling. Bring it back. Pokemon Company, you cowards. Let me gamble to my heart's content, please. Thank you. 
But I, I gotta say Gen 4, like, Diamond Pro Platinum. Please, I need your help. What the fuck? Oh. Who said that? I need oh. to speak to you. Who said that? What the oh, it's this dude. You know what's crazy? I'm injured. I need your help. I was actually gonna help him. Last time I played this game, I was like, you know what? I'll come back and I'll help this guy out. But now that he's like begging for it, no one else will help me. I'm good. I have some self-respect, bro. Don't bet. Wait, what? Oh, bet. But yeah, no, I only played this game. Or no, I've never. I'm not gonna say I never played this game. I got pretty far into it. I got like 10 hours into it, but that was like a couple of years ago. So, uh, I decided, um, what's it called? I decided to just go ahead and restart it. That'd probably be better. Because I didn't remember anything from the story anyway, so. But also, I already have the gambling addiction. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've talked about fate. Now, where am I going? I'm going this way. Holy shit, I'm going this way. That's a long way, this way. I don't know, man. I'm still kind of pissed at this about Casino. But not... Here's the thing, alright? In Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, my issue was kind of the fact that they took out the casino, sure, but that they replaced it with a clothing store that had, like, four options. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do the thing, like, do the damn thing, you know? It's your sister, Olara! Oh, damn. Olara... It's crazy how much I don't care. I need to get a trip caster. I'm here for the story. See, here's the thing, right? I know like the title of the stream is like they they gave Aloy from Genshin her own game. I holy shit. I was not a whale in Genshin, but also I spent more money than I needed to in Genshin Impact, so uh Never know when I might not yeah, no, I, I don't I don't play fate Megan plays fate a lot. I already have my gotcha game I already have that and I don't play it that much anymore. Honestly, I Have like these is it does anyone else do this where you have like these phases that you go through where like you play a game But you only play it for like a month or so and then you put it down for like a couple of months And then you pick it back up and it's like man Why did I ever put this down and it's it just it keeps going back and forth. That's me with a lot of games like that is the that is the sole reason that I've not finished Octopath Traveler, Dragon Quest Eleven. Holy are you cool? Okay. Like I haven't finished Dragon Quest Eleven, Octopath, uh, whatever. What other sh uh, games are there? Final Fantasy fourteen. Even though if you haven't played that game, you definitely should. Okay. My arrows right here, or I guess did it disappear? My arrows are there. Hold on. Yeah, I think my arrow. No, that's grass. Never mind. Bleach Brave Souls. Of course, you got the new five star in fate yesterday. Persona 5 Royal Team finished it. See, here's the thing though. When I first got Persona 5 Royal, because I first got it when uh, quarantine started, I, I kind of told this story last stream. Okay. All right. Does anyone know how to fix this, right? Because my controller, I'm not moving the camera at all. I'm not touching it. And it's still doing this. Does anyone know how to fix it? Let me know. Because this is like disgusting. And I know that's gonna get me killed one day. But Persona 5 Royal, I started that when quarantine started. Good thing I'm shunned or I'd actually have to talk to these idiots. I feel that though. That was me in college, honestly. But actually, hold on. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because I listened to a bit of the stream last time. I listened to a bit of the last stream, and it was disgusting. I was fighting with um, what's it called? I was fighting with the sound. I could barely hear myself. To see cars and get a trip caster. Yes, sir. The new foreigner, Voyager. 
I feel like that's a that's more of a title than a name, but okay. Can I just climb up here? I can. Wow. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. Well, no, Persona 5 really was like that was the game that I could actually could not put down. I finished it. I got it on like Monday. And I finished it on Thursday. Like, it was bad, <laughs> you know? But no, like, oh, well, well, I've been in a 14 mood recently, so I've been playing a lot of that. Surprised you saw me the way you keep but, um, every other direction to make sure no one's watching. What's it called? I've been playing a lot of 14 recently, but I've recently been playing other games. Like, I've just finished The World Ends With You for the first time. So like now that I'm kind of like getting into other games, I kind of put that down for a second. But once I have like a, a break from like playing other games or like there's nothing that that really catches my eye, I'll probably like calm down a little bit. Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made. Approved, That's kind of how it goes, Shu. Honestly, like you either like binge the whole thing or you like play it in chunks because it's a long ass game. I remember like when I first started it, the, the, cause I have base Persona 5 too. And, um, I remember I was trying to get through, this is my first time playing it. I was, um, trying to get through the first palace, Kamoshida's palace. And I was playing it at night and I was like, okay, I'll like, I'll finish this dungeon. I was like, I, I, I was like, okay, I'll finish this dungeon and then like, I'll go to bed and do something else. But I didn't know I was on like 25% of the way done. So. So I tried to finish the whole dungeon in one night, and I was like, damn, how long is this game, dude? And it was disgustingly long. But I've since played it uh, between base game and royal. I've since played Persona 4, or Persona 5, four times. Disgusting, I know, but... So yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn exists. Um, I don't know, like, this game is fun. I just, it's kind of like what I said earlier. When you take a break from something for so long, you kind of like forget all the mechanics and what's happening in the story. And it's, uh, it's strange. So I just decided to just restart it. Cause like, I don't remember how to use the trip caster. I don't remember like all the mechanics and I'm like going up against these bosses and it's like, man, I don't know what the hell is going on. Really? Could have fooled me. I don't play P4G, but I don't have a laptop or a Vita. Yeah, I really hope that, um, Will you be around later? That's kind of the thing that I've been praying for is that Atlas decides to port Persona 4 Golden to uh, like PS4 to Switch. And that's what I've been hoping for this whole like anniversary thing that they've been doing. But they haven't and it sucks. But like worst case scenario, if you don't have a laptop or a Vita, you could always play um you could always find a uh, a Steam Deck and play that. Because it's cheaper than a PC, and you still have access to the whole Steam library, and you can just dock it to a uh, to a monitor. So it's kind of like just having a PC without having to build anything, you know. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You're playing, I dude. I still have not played Arena Ultimax, and I kind of don't want to, just because like I know it's canon to the Persona Four like story, but man. I just I don't I've learned that I don't like fighting games, you know? It's just like it's not my thing. Like I'll play it with friends. But it's eh. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in even if he wanted to. But there has it on laptop what he's always using it so I don't get a chance to play. I actually Yeah. I understand. I only played the whole thing on like I played it on like a shitty HP laptop. Not a gaming laptop at all. The same laptop I wrote essays on is the same laptop that I played Persona 4 Golden on. Why do you take the risk? But it, it's it's a it's a fun game though. Like I, I hope you get a chance to play it. I thought about starting a new game plus on stream, or I, I guess I did for a while, but um, I I kind of dropped it. Not gonna lie, I've never finished a game on stream. I start a bunch of stream series, but I never finish them. It's kind of my problem because I don't stream consistently enough to do it. Oh yeah, he's talking about story stuff, right? My bad. I try letting 
back in mother's heart, but everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people. But like, oh yeah, if you don't um know Persona Four, and I usually don't recommend watching like anime adaptations of games, but Persona Four, uh, the anime, and not not Golden, the original. Persona 4 the anime is actually a really good adaptation of Persona 4. So like if you really want to know the story, and it also has a dub, so it's like so it has all the original voice actors from the from the actual game. Or most of them, I think. But if you like if you're an anime fan and you want to know the story of Persona 4, you could just watch you could watch the anime. I I, I would recommend that. You know? Alright. Good luck in the proving. Ultimax is super fun. You don't release really memorize combos as much as other fighting games since the auto combos got Okay. That's fine. I just like, and I like games like that where it's fun. Because here's the thing, I'm hold on, the weapon will. The default ammunition with R. Oh wait, what did I do? Hold on. Okay. But it's uh, what was I saying? Because I'm not a person who likes to memorize combos and do all that. I don't like to get in the lab, you know. Snow. It's not getting any warm. The enemy. Fire two spots to push chakra. Okay. Oh, so it's just a, it's literally just a trap. It's a trap caster. Dude, I feel like I might lose my my anime license for this, but I have never seen Bleach ever. That has been an anime that I've just never gotten into. I'm reading the manga now. And I'm on like I'm on like chapter nine or ten. I just well I'm not gonna say anything, but yeah I'm on like chapter nine or ten, and um. It's like, it's okay. It's definitely dated in the sense that like, it's it's an old shonen anime filled with the tropes that I find kind of hackneyed at this point, but it's fine. It's a good show. Like I like Ichigo, I like Rukia, they're both cool, but. Chat, what would you say the most obscure anime? What is, is the most obscure anime that you've seen? Cause like, see, that's what I've heard, and I'll give it a chance because I gave One Piece a chance. You know, like I'm, and like it's fine now. Like it's it's not bad. It's never been bad. It's just it's just the same as any other shonen that I've seen so far. And I know it'll get better, but still. I don't know though. Like, I say I I try to act like I'm like trying to find these like really obscure animes yeah, and okay. stuff. Like trying to trying to find something that's not like that pushes the boundaries or something that like you know, it's not the same concepts that I've seen over and over again. But at the same time, sometimes those are just good. Sometimes those are just fun, and I need to remember that like I'm not trying to watch anime to become some elitist. I'm literally just watching shows that I like and trying to have fun. And it gets lost in that because... And this is kind of something that I don't like. Because everyone... like Once the internet like started, you know, really taking off and everyone started getting onto it, people with shitty opinions started having a voice and a platform. And I hate that. And not like, oh, your opinion is different from mine. Like, it's it sucks. Like, you don't like this show, so you're a terrible person. No, I mean people with shitty opinions in the sense that, like, oh, I hate this thing because it's popular. Oh, I hate this thing because you like it. If you don't like this, you are a terrible person, and your taste defines you. Like, I hate that shit so much. I'm sorry, yeah, we're playing this game. But... <laughs> oh, man. I should not play this on stream because I want to, I want to know the story. But if you ever played this game, let me know. Is the story, like, really good? Is the story good in this game, or is this kind of the game's... Is this another game where, like, the gameplay carries, you know? Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. Ballroom at Yoko Cell? What's that about? The lesson will be uh, ballroom... Promise? Is Yoko so... Is Yoko so Promise? Or is that Yakusoku? I think it's Yakusoku, never mind. Yeah, I hate that. I hate those people who are talking about man. I can't believe how the main character of Spy Family like preys on Ayn. You're like, dude, shut up, please. Just go somewhere. And I get that it's bait, and I get that's supposed to be like 
it's supposed to be like irony or satire. But at the same time, like there are some people who genuinely believe that. And it's like, I get it if you don't like it. I get it if that's not your cup of tea. That's fine. However, what I don't like is like taking something, taking this really skewed interpretation of something and without taking a second to think critically and just running with it and spreading it. And I hate that, you know? Actually, though, shoot, that actually sounds really interesting. I kind of, I kind of, I might check that out. Because, like, because here's the thing, right? I'm totally fine with action. I don't, I'm not going to say I'm not one of those dudes who, like, oh, shonen sucks. It's all basic. If your favorite animes are shonen, you're a dumb and a loser. I love action, but also, like, I've learned to really appreciate a good slice of life show. Like, my favorite anime... And I guess this may or may not count, but I don't know if movies count as like an anime, but A Silent Voice is my favorite, it's my favorite anime, but also just my favorite piece of media in general. Like, it supersedes Kingdom Hearts, Persona, like any piece of media that I have consumed. A Silent Voice is at the top, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Just because, like, and man, if you haven't seen that movie, I it's a hard recommendation. There are a lot of uh, a lot of trigger worthy things in there. It talks about mental health. It talks about um, you know, suicide and things like that. But if you are okay with those kinds of things, and the thing is, it also handles it well. It's not like oh, okay, I'm over here running around doing nothing. It's not like it doesn't hype anything up for, or it doesn't exaggerate anything for for drama's sake. It's actually. A really um how do I say this I I'm, I'm losing the word I'm really bad at that I lose words so much so much I promise I'm not stupid but it's a really good um interpretation of like what mental illness is like so if you have not seen a silent voice um, it's a careful recommendation but a recommendation nonetheless Sorry, I was talking about something. I have this thing to go. I have this thing where I just go on tangents for no reason. Oh yeah, the here's the thing. The first part, the first like half, or I guess not half, the first like act of a silent voice, like the flashback stuff, it's kind of hard to get through, honestly. It's like it's opening a gate for an outcast. Also, I can I just say back to, we're, while we're talking playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I love Aloy because it's like my my favorite story of like an outcast becoming so much for tribal law. You know, the, the basically like zero to hero story, like Hercules, Naruto, that kind of thing. But like Aloy is very sassy and just kind of owns it. And like she she's a real one because like she says you Oh shit, I remember this fight. I gotta oof oof. I might actually have to pay attention. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn it, I need you to keep talking. I need you to say things. I think I know who you are. Damn it, whatever. If I hear him if I hear him say things, I will stop. That's uh Dojima from Persona 4. <laughs> but yeah, no, the first act of a silent voice is really hard to watch just because like it's it's weird because um you're watching like children and that's I don't know if that's a weird thing for everybody, but that's kind of a weird thing for me cuz like I'm, you know, a grown like a grown ass man. I'm like well, I say grown ass man, I'm like 23. But it's weird seeing that and just watching that and being um, okay with that because I know the stereotype of like people who like anime and I, I don't like to feed into that stereotype I like to think I'm a relatively normal person but also like it's just good in itself but also it's weird because you're just 
essentially watching children and there's a scene in there that's like really that's visually coded in a really weird way wait wait wait, wait, wait. How, do, how, do, how, do, how do how do i just played this game like two days ago what happened there it is wait i need to change some things up Wait, where do my arrows go? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Can I make the side side? Can I make the side side? Very, very stealthily. Oh, hey, I leveled up. Good for me. Great vegetables. What do you mean? Okay. I'm going to pay attention to this game when something happens, but for now, I'm just kind of going off the cuff. I will say, though, I do like the fact that, um, oh yeah, no, don't worry about it, Malaysia. I appreciate you being here nonetheless, you know? I do like the fact that, like, I don't know if my first grip, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm tripping. Oh yeah, is that when, like, Nanako and, uh, Nanako and you have, like, the tomato, was it tomatoes? I think it was tomatoes. The garden next to the house. But I will say, like, if you go, I don't know if my earlier streams are, like, there anymore, but if you go watch some of my earlier streams, man, I was awkward as shit. I did not have anything to talk about. And now I can just kind of go, like, off the cuff and just talk about things that I care about. Like, converse with people. <coughs> oh, well, God. It's, it's nice that I'm not, like, that I'm comfortable streaming now, you know? And I think, like, I don't know. I might start making content again. I'm still not entirely sure on it because I feel like, here's the thing with making content. I feel like once I start, I can't stop, you know? Like, I feel like I can't just upload a video because I need to feed the algorithm and start getting my name out there and, like, keep doing that. And, eh, I don't know. Maybe it's for me, maybe it's not. I do like streaming, though. Like, if I could become, like, a full-time streamer, or not even not even full time streamer because I think I I know what I want to do, like if I can stream and just have like a, a ton of people in here that'd be fun, just because like it's more, it's more people that I can talk to, you know, it's more people that we can talk to and just have conversations with and get different viewpoints and just kind of vibe, you know. All right, kill the sawtooth. Where's the sawtooth? Wait 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 wait. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to do the trip caster. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, stay sight, stay sight, stay sight. I did not ask for this. I did not ask for this. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. All right, we're doing this off the cuff, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I am not fine. Hold on. How do I do this stupid thing? Hold on. Okay, all right, all right. I have the thing set. I have the thing set so I can just lure it this way. Yeah. Yeah, little bitch. Got him. Got him. See, this is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know exactly what I need to do. Nah. Well, I'm quiet. That's not, that's not my style. Y'all know this. Oh, that's bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I don't, I don't got this. Hold on. I know what I'm doing. Good at video games. Good at video games. I'm not good at video games. Hold on. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay. Okay, okay. If I can just run 
far enough. Yeah! Okay. I think I need to get the fire arrow. And like, shoot at its underbelly or something. Oh shit! Hold on! I expect all that. And here's the thing, right? Just give me another good trip. Oh wait, I don't, even, I don't need to worry about nothing. He's dead. See? See? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried. But you know what? We improvised and we overcame. Top 10 Elden Ring boss fights. Dude, I'm not gonna touch Elden Ring. I have no interest in Souls games. I know what my limit is. I'm comfortable with it. It allows me to have fun. Keep every single Souls game as far away from me as humanly possible. I got this. I don't got this. Basically, my whole life story in two sentences. Would you count those as sentences? I don't know. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the sawtooth, how many braves might it have been? Here's the thing though, right? Kind of kind of like my life. I mess a lot of things up, however. However, I will achieve the desired result one way or another. My tribe? And I think that's uh I think that's a talent in and of itself. Because here's the thing, you get things right the first time, and it's fine, right? However, messing up a lot, you learn a lot of lessons along the way, which I think is more valuable than getting it right the first time. So, if you learn anything from me, it's to relish your failures, because in that failure comes growth and change. You're welcome. So yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn, it's a good game. <laughs> Dawn has passed. This will be your last also, yo, if you're enjoying, and this is not a call to action, I promise. What about doing surgery? I mean, <laughs> here's the thing, right? <laughs> here's the thing with that, okay? You might mess up the surgery and I'm gonna be honest someone might die however <laughs> you still learned something so the next time you do surgery if you ever do surgery again you'll know that's that's the character arc y'all guys know about that surgery that had a 300% mortality rate it's like, I can't remember what it was. It was like, I think it was in the Civil War. Uh, I think the guy, I, I may, I might be wrong. I might butcher it. But the guy was doing an amputation. And the dude, he was cutting off his dude's leg. He cut off the dude's leg. And the dude died. And the guy who was in the room for surgery also died. And I think at some point the surgeon also died. That was a really shitty way of putting it. But yeah, look it up. There was a surgery that had a 300% mortality rate. I understand the final lesson lost. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Also, if you guys are enjoying what you are seeing, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your auntie, your uncle, your grampy, your grammy, your, tell your friends, get your dog, put the dog on an iPad, let him watch the stream, we'll type out bark bark in the... <laughs> In the wait no don't type out bark bark in this chat <laughs> no never mind but yeah if you if you know people who like this kind of stuff like bring them in this chat everyone's a homie here if you type bark bark in chat you get a timeout I'm not <laughs> nah I'm not I'm not that kind of streamer I'll see you at mother's heart then you will. There, you know what? Hmm, I'm wondering if I should say this. I'm afraid y'all would lose respect for me if I did, so I'm not gonna say it. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna say it because I wouldn't do it. So never mind. I'm not a, I'm not a simp. Wait, can I say that? 
on YouTube? Is that a thing that they ban or was that Twitch? I don't know. Okay. Megan, I'm so <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. Actually, you know what, Megan, you're a furry, so like that's that's okay. That's kind of what you do. So I'll, I'll I'll let that one slide. Oh wait 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 wait! I want. Ah, oh, I needed to kill that bunny. Damn it! I needed things. Oh well. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, Moose Wayne uh, kills bunnies. Right in the eye, right in the eye. No, I hit that right in the eye! Hold on! Yes, sir. There we go. <laughs> what? What's the problem? You told me you were furry like the other day. <laughs> Megan is a VIP. Megan's Megan's the homie. We've known each other for pff, maybe ten years now. I think it's definitely been at least ten years. Right, twenty thirteen was freshman year of high school. I feel like I should be doing more though. You know, like I feel like oh, okay, okay. I gotta kill this turkey, sorry guys. Oh, I wasted an arrow, fuck. Hold on, I get a bit more. <laughs> Actually, I've thought about making a video about this, but when do y'all think Kingdom Hearts 4 is coming out? Just like a gen general question, you know? Because I've heard like 2023 is the year, I've heard... <laughs> I'm kidding, I was just talking bad shit, man, he's not a furry. But, uh... Actually, hold on, I'm gonna throw a rock. Send it this way. And then... Stab it between the cheeks. What? Oh, that was bullshit. Okay, whatever. Oh, whoops. I don't like that. I don't like this. I just got flashback. Hold on. 2024, 2025. See, I'm thinking we could see it like late next year. I Okay. But I'm thinking it comes out like maybe late next year. Cuz I don't know. Cuz they've been working on this since what? 20 It was before the release of Remind where like that that whole thing came out where they were working on a world that was like Frozen 2. For a game that is rumored to be Kingdom Hearts 4. And that was 2019. So I'm thinking we could see it in late 2023, early 2024. If I'm being honest, I would say my conservative pick is 2024. But I genuinely would not be surprised if we see it late 2023. And I'm not going to lie. Like, actually, you know what? I'm not going to say that. But. Because I am i don't want to. I've, I've kind of prided myself on not being in beef with anybody in the Kingdom Hearts community. Except for people who just do dumb shit. Like, I respect opinions. 
But like, if you just come at me like, oh, you're stupid and you're, th- you are stupid because your theory is stupid or because your take is stupid. I will actually fight you in person. I will, I got your IP address. I'll fight. Really care either way since I won't be able to play it. Most like, yeah, that's because here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Because the trailer that we saw was an Unreal Engine 4, but the final product is likely going to be an Unreal Engine 5. And even though they say, oh, Unreal Engine 5 can be on PS4 too, it's fine. Square? I don't think they give a shit, right? I saw what happened with with uh, Remake Integrate, right? I know what's going on there. They they were ruthless with that. They were like, you, you ain't got a PS5? Sorry, bucko, rest in piss. And I haven't played it to this day, you know? I think I might be able to get a PS5 before them. Before 2024, at least. I think I'll be able to get my hands on one one way or another. But, man, I, I, I would be shocked if Kingdom Hearts 4 was on PS4. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I would not be surprised at all if it was a... What's it called? I would not be I would not be surprised at all if it was, if it was a PS5 exclusive. Because Square, Square just lies. I'm being entirely honest. They said the whole, like... They said the whole Final Fantasy VII remake uh, thing is gonna be on PS4. Everything's gonna be on PS4. You're fine. Let us speak. And then they came out with the DLC. And like, I'm not mad about it because like I don't really know the story of the original Final Fantasy VII. Like, I think VII remake. Malaysia, you have your PS5? Shit! Congrats. <laughs> You're one of the lucky ones. Let us speak. Are you ready? But um, what was I gonna say? What was I saying? Um, shit, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, no, I was saying I think Final Fantasy VII Remake was the first Final Fantasy game that I ever finished. Yes. And then, uh, fifteen, I finished that one as well. Yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, the DLC with Yuffie. That is PS5. Ex- oh, I guess on PC too. It's up, yeah, it's on PC, but it originally released for PS5. Look for high matriarch to your side. She'll help you. Malaysia, I, I need you to understand. I have the memory of a goldfish. I barely remember what I had for dinner last night. Actually, I do, but it's because I eat the same thing for a week. <laughs> so. I was really mad when it released for PS4 or when it released for PS5 exclusive though because like man that was the first time and I think the biggest case of FOMO that I've ever had in my life because it's something that I actually cared about you know I usually don't care about that kind of stuff but man I was pissed and I guess to some extent I still am but I'm not too concerned because I I think I can get a PS5 Or I think I can get my hands on one. I might have to pay a bit over MSRP. I might have to pay like 600 but I can get a PS5. It's no problem. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a beefy game. Like, Jesus. Like, I understand why, but man. I think that was the biggest game that I had on my PS4 for a while until I, um... Are you sure they're gonna let me in? Until I deleted it. Oh yeah, they got. I don't know if they have like one to one to six on PS4, but I know seven, eight, nine, ten. Like the later Final Fantasy games are on on PC, PS4. I don't know if they're on the Xbox or not. I'm not sure. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days. Man, I like Rost. He's just... He's just a cool dude. Never seen any gameplay for it. I heard it's fun if your brother played the demo. It's a really fun game. Like, yeah, I would say... You know, once your brother finishes Kingdom Hearts, definitely give it a try. But also... Uh... Actually... Here's the thing. 
I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. Hold Even on, this is actually really important. Me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. I actually really like these two. I really like their... For your sake. I really like the dynamic they have. They were just like two outcasts that grew up together. Like, I guess he raised her as a daughter, but... Man... These these were homies. These two were homies. Then then good <laughs> Damn. Damn. Crazy. Hey, I don't know. I I'm going to respect his wishes. But also we won't find him anyway. We chill. Out. Man, I want to play for Horizon Forbidden West just because I like Aloy, but I think I only like Aloy because Rost exists. And I don't remember if he ceases to exist later on. I'm sorry, I'm like... I'm like talking way too much, I'm gonna be entirely honest with you. It's just like so the basic premise is like they're both outcasts from the from the main tribe, you know. But Aloy is taking this uh, exam called the Proving, and basically, if you win the Proving, you get to be a part of the tribe. You get to become like a Nora Brave, which I don't necessarily I don't really know what that is right now. I don't really think they explained it either. But uh, the you know the main tribe is the Nora, so I'm assuming it's like some sort of soldier thing. Or maybe they could have explained it. Maybe I'm just stupid. But basically. He's saying that she has what it takes to win the proving and become a part of the tribe and no longer be an outcast. But the thing is, uh, Rost will not be a part of the tribe. He'll still be an outcast. And she's like, you know what? Nah, fuck that. Like, you a real one. I'm still going to talk to you. I'm still going to, like, like you basically raised her, you know? So she's like, yeah, no. Like, I'm not going to let go of my dad for these people who, who don't care. And he's like, no, don't do that. I don't want you to get in trouble. I want you to be a part of this tribe. I want you to... I want you to do this and forget about me. And she's like, no. I'm not gonna do that. Sorry, bucko. Proofing? It is a proving, like you know. You're you're proving your worth to the to this tribe of assholes who don't have a merciful bone in their body. You will turn back outcast. Hey, representation, let's go. Shut the fuck up. You look like T-Pain. Make way. Make way. Braves stand aside. She is welcome. I'm here. assuming a brave is like a soldier. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Beat their ass. Let's go. Uh, who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. Still confused on what? Yeah, I don't. I still don't know what happened to this day. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I'm still sorry that happened though. <laughs> Man, I was getting into the gym today, but I think it's too late to go now, and that makes me sad. Meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Oh. You know what? Actually, nah. I don't think I will let Aloy step on me. I don't think that's that's her. You know? Aloy's wife material, though. I respect it. Aloy could definitely kick my ass. And I, yeah. That's not even like a weird thing. It just she could definitely it's kick you, my ass. Isn't it? I have nowhere to be for the rest. Over here. Oh, I'm talking to the wrong person. I'm sure. Oh, it's the dude whose leg was broken that I refused. Aloy. See, he was fine. I have something for you. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. 
Well, it was a long time ago. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Malaysia, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe. This is the inner dialogue that I have with myself constantly. Because, you know. In preparation for this. Because, and not in a weird way, just like I, I think a lot, you know. Or I guess I'm in my own head a lot. Cost. These are the kind of things, so I'm glad I can Consider express the these. I but also, I'm sorry if your parents hear this. Oh shit, hold up. Oh, we get drip. Let's go. Oh, here's the thing though, I don't want... I like this though. I like the OG drip, you know? Forty-five metal shards and five wire. Hmm. Oh, this is for stealth. Okay. Oh, let's see. Protect seeds melee attack. That's actually not bad. I think I'm gonna go with this because I'm going to get hit a lot in this game. <laughs> is there a way you can like your timber evolve? Let's go. Respect. Wait, Aloy, you didn't take the What's your favorite Pokemon? I don't think I ever asked. Or I guess just in general, chat. What is y'all's favorite Pokemon? If you play Pokemon. Wait, Aloy, you didn't take the outfit I made you. Go on. It's yours. Oh wait, hold on. I wasn't supposed to get that. I was supposed to get this one. Okay, I do like this outfit. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. I remember. I was like, "Yo, I'm not gonna curse the whole stream." And like two seconds later, I die. I'm like, "Fuck." There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Ted. See, Pokemon is like this weird thing, where I think like, I think you'll find it. If you didn't play it when you were younger. It's kind of hard to get into now, because the more that I think about it, the more I think... How do I put this? It's a game that kids get into now, or that adults who were kids and have already gotten into it are still into, you know? Because, like, I think objectively, the Pokemon games are okay. Or, I say objectively, as objective as I can be, which is obviously still subjective, but whatever. Um... They're not like, they're not great, you know? I think the best one that I've gotten or that I've played, which is like, I guess most of the mainline ones, but I think like Legends Arceus, Legends Arceus is maybe, well, I guess it also kind of depends on what you look for in a game. Because like, if you just like straight turn-based combat, I think the games are fine. That's kind of your thing. If you like the meta, if you like competing, I think those games are fine. But I honestly got to say, if they were to improve on the mechanics that Legends Arceus introduced, I think Legends Arceus is, is probably my favorite, my favorite game, my favorite Pokemon game. And it, it's tough to beat Platinum, even with the nostalgia glasses on. Get down from there. Bat it up, you're what? drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Wait, 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 who's climbing houses? Yo, hold on, who's climbing? Who's climbing houses? I want to join. Can I get up there? With the music? Okay. Can I dance? Yo, where's the where's the dance emote? Hold on. I thought this was unlocked in base game. Here's probably Darkrai. Ooh, Darkrai's a good choice. I love Darkrai. Oh, there he is. Let's go. Can I push him down? Is for me to have no fun at all. Fine. Stay up on the roof all night if Wait, you I think yeah, I will. Dark Ride is probably my favorite legendary from Gen 4. Gen 4 had so many legendaries though. Like, geez, Louise or T's, please freeze. Oh! Exposition! Perfect! That's exactly what I needed. 
lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wife. I am I am the I'm one of the children in this in this thing. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. Yeah. The Imagine if you know what's going on in the game at this point could not be me. Promise to serve them. To make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so the faithless left with Damn, I should have gone to the gym today. I'm kinda mad at myself now. This is supposed to be the training arc. And I boofed it up. And I'm upset. I should have went. But I don't have a car, so I can't make it and get a quick workout in. Because they close at 8. And I am mercy I'm at the mercy of the bus system. I'm not paying attention to this exposition, so whatever. If I have problems, I can look at the wiki. Here, I'll see if I can over here. Karst. What the hell? Karst? What are you doing here? My guy, go home. Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Lars Hart. I thought you preferred the wilds. I got a car? Nope. I do not have a car. I had one, but my dad sold it. Sold there. Sold it. My bad. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. Alrighty, have a good night, you. You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. Oh man. I'm sleepy. Oh jeez. This seems um In a moment we very shall bless the proving. But first, hey, representation is will be Goldberg. Let's go. For Whoa, two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> Why, we, is it surprising that I don't have a car? Because that's fair. 23 and Carlos. Hey, hey, hold your fruit, Nora, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he, He's, he sounds like, he looks like in the live-action version of this, he'll be played by, like, Kevin James. For blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister will take I said sleepy. That, that is what happens. That's what you say when you're, like, Sleepier than sleepy. You're sleepy. Who killed it? The fourteenth. Not because he was that, was that Michael B. Jordan from Black Panther. Someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. That's just Michael B. Jordan with a beard. Hold on. Is an apology. Straight from the lips of the fourteenth king. So please. Can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of... Oh, what the fu- Oh, that was weird. That came from my controller, and I- That was strange. I was about to call it a, a ear, a, a ear shit. Why are you wearing an ear shit? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Yeah, I remember this guy. Oh, yeah. I heard something terrible happening to him. Whoops. My bad. Delving in the ruins of the metal world. I guess it's not my bad. It's bad for being a little bitch. But What's wrong? Y'all know. Apologies. Uh, 
malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? Uh, <laughs> I'll come back. I'm sorry. I look. No. Look, I, I try to keep the cursing down, but also I work at a job. Because I naturally just curse a lot. Because I did not get to curse a lot as a kid. So whenever I get the chance, I don't like, actively do it, but it just makes its way to my, into my vocabulary quite often. More than I would like to, admittedly. But I just, I, the home is the one place where I don't have to have a filter. So I apologize in advance. He spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. I feel that. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I haven't had alcohol in so long, no man. Yeah, it looks great. I think I might get some get some stuff. What else do you know about Owen? And not even just because like, oh, I want to get lit. I just like. Starting to get jealous. Oh no. Well, he scours the. I just haven't tried it in a while. Wounds, digs up stuff and sells it. Got a snack. Let's go. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal you know, companion, cares for his family. I'm okay with this man's haircut. Life. But besides that, not But if I saw anyone in real life who actually had that haircut, I would uh I would just walk the other way. Not not it. That's not I've it. I've never chief. seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm I wonder saying, who, I'm like, pretty even man. if Horizon Zero Dawn got a live action adaptation, I wonder who would play Aloy. Because, like, there's someone that I have in mind, but I cannot remember the name for the life of me. I remember seeing him like this really obscure thing when I was younger. I should make But I can't remember what it was. If I remember it, I'll let y'all know. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious. Actually, now I think about it, what like water. I mean, what a live action smart. Kingdom Hearts look like. Capable because Sonic has kind of opened Sonic and Mario. Uh, well, I guess Mario about? maybe. We have to see how that's what? gonna turn out. But if you ever visit Meridian, Blue, we're in the era. Around, we're in the process. era, and Uncharted too. We're in the era of video games one. being turned into I'll movies now. You to my so when's when's the Kingdom Hearts universe getting a movie? And by the last and who would y'all want to play Sora? Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards. To I don't think. Versa. I can't really think of anybody. Now she's captain of the entire Off the dome, Vanguard. who could play Sora? That's quite a story. Convincingly. Well, maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around, maybe. How old is Aloy? Hold on. I'm with High Matriarch Landsman. We shouldn't let those Karja outsiders pollute our sacred land. I'm with High Matriarch Landsman. What? Oh. She's 19, okay. <laughs> We're chilling. We're good. Damn, where's the... I need to find a campfire so I can say it. Damn. I gotta save this game! Uh... You know what? It's whatever. I'll save the game later. But for now, that is probably going to be all. It was fun talking to y'all, though. So I'm just going to chill and make some food. I don't know. But thanks for coming out. I appreciate y'all. And I uh, hope y'all have a good night. And I will probably be back in, if not tomorrow, a couple of days for sure. But uh, have a good night, guys.